Air pollution. Air is usually comprised of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.9% oxide gases, and 0.1% inert gases. When the air becomes contaminated, with other elements such as, poisonous gases, or particles, it can cause, serious problems to human health. Some human activity, that leads to outdoor air pollution are, exhaust gases from industries and factories, exhaust gases from vehicles, burning fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas, burning of crops, plastics, and garbage, mining operations, building construction, or demolition. Cutting down trees can reduce the amount of oxygen in air and increase the amount of carbon dioxide. Some human activity that leads to indoor air pollution are a lack of proper ventilation and air circulation inside the house concentrates air pollution. House is the place where people often spend the majority of their time. Cigarette smoking is injurious to health, and also affects, anyone around the smoker. Plywood, paints emits gases, which is not good to be inhaled. The use of air fresheners, incense, and other scented items, may lead to indoor air pollution. Indoor pollution fatalities, may be caused by, burning charcoals, and using pesticides without proper ventilation. Effects of air pollution Cars, and factories, produce pollutants, including nitrogen oxide, sulfur dioxide, and hydrocarbons. These chemicals, react with sunlight, to produce smog, a thick fog, or haze of air pollution. Smog makes, breathing difficult. When air pollutants, such as, nitrogen oxide, and sulfur dioxide, mix with moisture, they change into acids. They then, fall back to earth, as acid rain. Acid rain can kill, all the trees, and living organism on land, and water. Acid rain, also wears, and damages, many historic buildings, and monuments. Human activities, such as burning fossil fuels, and destroying forests, have increased the amount of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide in the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases, are another source of air pollution. This causes, average temperatures, across the globe to rise. This is called, global warming. Global warming, is causing, ice sheets, and glaciers to melt. The melting ice, is causing sea levels to rise. The rising seas, will eventually flood, low-lying coastal regions. Global warming also contributes, to the phenomenon of, ocean acidification. Ocean acidification, is the process of ocean waters, absorbing more carbon dioxide, from the atmosphere. This may, affect the plants, and animals living in ocean. Chemicals called chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, are a dangerous form of air pollution. CFCs are found in gases, that cool refrigerators, in foam products, and in aerosol cans. CFCs damage the ozone layer, a region in Earth's upper atmosphere. The ozone layer, protects Earth, by absorbing much of the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. When people are exposed to, more ultraviolet radiation, they are more likely to develop, skin cancer, eye diseases, and other illnesses. Health Effects of Air Pollution Air pollution, increase the risk of respiratory illness, and cardiovascular problems. It increase the risk of skin diseases, and lung cancer. Air pollution causes, difficulty in breathing, wheezing, coughing, asthma. 
These health effects can result in increased medication use and increased doctor visit. How to reduce air pollution? Use public transportation, carpool, cycle, or walk whenever possible. Avoid burning leaves, trash, and other materials. Reduce the number of trips you take in your car. Conserve electricity and set air conditioners in normal temperature. Industries can use pollution control devices to remove pollutants by absorbing, filtering, diluting or dispersing them. Government licensing and regulation are effective ways to minimize poisonous gas emissions from industry. Reduce or eliminate fireplace and wood stove use. Avoid using plastics. Use environmentally safe paints and cleaning products whenever possible. Provide proper ventilation in homes. Avoid using cigarettes. This is the most common indoor air pollutants. Follow the three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle helps to cut down the amount of waste produced. Try to grow more trees and stop cutting down trees. Try to reduce air pollution and contribute to a healthier and clean planet. Every week, you will be notified by a new video. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Thank you for watching Make It Easy Education.